Well, good morning everyone. Great to see you all back. Uh, what a day it's been today. <laughs> Started out, I was going to do some uh, long exposure photography down on the beachfront. And I'd bought a variable ND filter for the front of my lens. Well, things didn't go to plan. Because whenever I tried to go towards the higher end, like nine stops, I got this like cross in the middle of my frame. So no matter what I did, I couldn't get rid of it. So I gave it up as a bad job and ended up coming to my local reserve again. <laughs> but things got a bit better. Uh, I've seen quite a bit here today. I've seen the short-eared owl. I've seen the barn owl. I've seen a roe deer. Loads of pheasants. I didn't bother taking any pictures of the pheasants though. I saw a hare in the field. I may have some decent pictures. So it hasn't turned out too bad actually. Which has been a good thing. So from a totally disastrous start, because I got up early to catch the sunrise, to a half decent day. So I'm just going to go for a walk around now, see what we can find, and I will we'll speak to you all soon. So if you like what you see so far, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help the YouTube channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, please consider it. And I'll go for a walk around and see what we can find. So until then, I'll see you all again soon. This has been absolutely fantastic. Uh, I've just seen Barn Owl again and uh, it's been flying around pretty well. I haven't got any video of it because I haven't got my tripod with me. Uh, but it's been so close. I just need to get my settings right, but I'm getting there eventually. But yeah, it's been absolutely fantastic. It's gonna come round again because it nests just a little bit further over and uh, it's been going from one field to another so I'm just going to stay in this spot for right now until I can find it again so yeah I'll catch up with you soon one thing you have to do when you're photographing barn owls is keep an eye on your highlights you can do this by having a look in your histogram or turn on what they call the blinkies in your camera so when you have a look at the preview at the back of the camera anything blown out will blink so uh yeah well it's been a fantastic day uh just been sat here and just before i got a, some great shots of the short-eared flat owl flying over and it flew over that much i nearly fell backwards because i'm sat on this little banking part and it was right above me it was so close but yeah i got some great shots i think but any images i'll put on afterwards pretty soon i'll be getting ready to leave because the sun's getting higher now uh but yeah fantastic day loads of pheasants i've got a couple of shots of pheasants i'll have to see how they turn out whether to put them on but yeah I might just stay here for another hour or so and we'll see what happens. Well, I 
think this might be it for now. What a superb day. So it's gone from disaster to superb. Can't believe it. I know I keep saying it, but it's just been fantastic today. Uh, some of the pictures may not have been the greatest. I'll have to wait and see what they're like on the computer. But yeah, absolutely fantastic. Right. Weather's just been great. It's hardly any wind. Uh, sun's out. It's pretty, still pretty cold, but not too cold. Not as cold as it has been. <laughs> Pull it that way but yeah just watching the pheasants in the fields get distracted easily i'll have to try and stop that from when i'm vlogging but yeah great day can't believe it uh only thing that's kind of spoiled it was uh someone's just recently told me that someone decided to jump the fence and walk up to the bird box where the barn owl nests which is against the law for starters in more ways than one one it's a scheduled one bird I believe and you're not allowed to go to the nest box and two they were trespassing on private property but uh, I think the person's gonna report them to the staff here at the reserve uh, sorry about that I have to move my arms getting tired <laughs> but yeah so I'm hoping that they'll be able to do something about it because if it carries on much more they're gonna end up closing the reserve again which spoils it for everyone and apparently there's been quite a lot of people breaking the rules lately uh, going into the farmer's fields to try and photograph the hares and stuff and when you're on RSPB reserve that's direct violation you can lose your membership and everything and they can also close the reserve to public so we don't want that to happen so we'll have to wait and see what happens uh, if I ever find out I'll let you know so but yeah, I think the barn owl flew off because it was coming back to the bird box. So the woman stood there and flew off in an opposite direction and it hadn't come back yet. So that might be it for today for the barn owl. I got, like I said earlier, I got a great shot of the short-eared owl flying overhead. And uh, we'll see what pictures I get. So uh, any pictures you'll either have already seen or you will see. But until then I'll uh, see you later. Incidentally if you've liked this vlog please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here don't forget to subscribe and when you do don't forget to hit that bell notification that way you'll see more content like this. And uh, take care and we'll see you all again soon but what a fantastic day from a disaster to fantastic all in one day couldn't get any better so we'll see you again soon bye for now bye